Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. <clears throat> My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. <laughs> that delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Park off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alfheim seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alfheim. Yeah. 
Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's <laughs> deserts long before Thimble Winter. The living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The song of the sands, he called it. Gone now. Another victim of war. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. <laughs> Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Freya never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. There's a gap in the fence over there. Very clever. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? 
Oh no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who speak the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Hey, Alpha. <laughs> 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 Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. <laughs> well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation no! between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? 
This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No Go. sense in spoiling the supplies. seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus the Light Elves were born.
Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They Best may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may best just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> idea to get us across. Ah. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Crying away. <laughs> Temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of them. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, not more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there.
More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasia. a better angle on that fire. More light though. elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. <sighs> Oh there, friends! Salutations! We mean you no harm. Here, get back! Why they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Apparently, is it so simple? I'm not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Why not simply hold it in place? Incoming! 
suppose I'll leave you to it then. Another light out! To the left! Come on, Kratos. Off your back. Suppose I'll leave you to it then. I suppose I'll leave you to it. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Behind you! Watch out!
Suppose I'll leave you to it then. Another one, left side. I suppose I'll leave you to it. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Find you! 
Incoming! on the other side. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. Here they come. Do what you must. Watch your back! statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder if this statue were to fall over the chasm. Foundation's weak. Father could push this over, no problem. Oh, the crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? Feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here.
And here we go again. Right side, father! And here we go again. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have fallen. Now. Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. 
But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths. Here, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svartli Offer. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Job, brother. This way. We're almost there. <laughs> Do 
You still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the Perhaps storm. we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious <laughs> fear's hidden prophecy. <laughs> hmm? <sighs> There, the central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, innit?
Jaffa. Ah. It's facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. mother inside last time but I can't anymore her soul is one with the light now united by forces older than Odin himself she is at peace Atreus I hope so when father went inside the light he you said went he... inside the light of Alfheim yes and yet here you stand of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated you must tell me Kratos what did you see that memory is for me alone I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. 